Ready Judo. I'm assistant instructor here at South Jersey Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under uh, second degree black belt, Stephen Bustorno. Uh What we're going to work on today, we're actually going to get uh, a little bit away from the actual sport Jiu Jitsu uh, technique and look at more of a women's self defense technique. Um, you know, this is something that you don't need to go to a Jiu Jitsu school or anything like that to practice. You could look at this technique, um, get your husband, sister, brother, friend to. to do this technique to help work out. So what we're going to do, we have Yara and Nancy here, my assistants. We're going to have Nancy down on the ground. We're going to have Yara on top. We call this a mount position. She's going to have her trapped across her hips. And what we're going to do is go almost like a worst case scenario here. Where we're going to have her hands pinned to the ground. Now, traditionally, um, you know, if I were to ask you what would you do in this position, uh, I'm not sure what kind of answers you would give because both your hands are pinned, you can't strike, not much you could do here. So what we're going to do is technically get out of this. So what Nancy's going to do at the same time, she's going to lift her hips, pull her elbows down to her, uh, to her hips and throw her hands down, which is going to knock Yara forward. Now Yara, come back, grab the hands. Nancy, I want you to do it nice and fast so people can see how it's going to work. Hips come up, elbows down, it's going to throw her forward. Good. Now, what Nancy has to worry about now is Yara coming up and looking to strike. So I want Nancy to grab around her hips, go right around her hips and hug nice and tight. Good. She's going to take her right hand and just go up on the shoulder while staying nice and tight and work her way up. Now, if we can bring the camera around here, Nancy, take your right arm and go underneath. So she's going to hook, trapping the arm of Yara. She's now going to take her other foot and she's going to hook the outside of Yara's foot. Now, just by elevating her hips up, she can switch this position, hands to the hips and stand up. Very nice. Let's try this again. Have Nancy down on her back. Yara's going to be across the hips again with the hands pinned. So you can't strike, you can't eye gouge, groin strikes, there's nothing you can really do from here. Uh, again, this is, this is one of the worst case scenarios. So Nancy's going to elevate her hips and really throw her arms down. That's going to throw Yara's body weight forward. She's going to immediately hug around the hips nice and tight. Right hand's going to come up to the shoulder, she's going to pull herself up. Right arm's going to now go through. Notice her left hand stayed hugging the whole time so she kept herself nice and tight. Her outside foot is going to hook the outside foot of Yara. She's going to elevate her hips up and over. Hands to the hips, she's going to stand right up. Good, thank you very much, ladies. So, there's many, many other positions that we got to be worried about uh, from this. This was just one scenario. Uh, we do run women's self-defense classes. You can check us out at www.sjbjj.com. Again, this was just a very simple escape from having our hands pinned in a mounted position. Thank you very much. I'm Jay Rebuto with South Jersey Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, along with Yara and Nancy. Thank you very much.